Okay, what's up guys? I'm Flo, I'm on UV, MLB, and Ion, and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on a little bit of concept chaining and expansion of concepts. So, uh, before we get started, this uh, requires a sufficient amount of understanding uh, of showmanship, and to get that, you want to watch uh, Beast Boy's showmanship tutorial on YouTube. He talks about five essential steps in there to really make your showmanship pop in videos and that's super super important for chaining together concepts so uh watch that if you haven't uh beast boys showmanship tutorial it's on youtube and also you want to watch art and young bloods what is a concept video um in it they talk about a uh starting with a hand position for a concept but um not every concept or not all concepts rather are about the hand position but it's about um, the idea behind the hand position. So uh, an example of this would be if I had this hand position right here, this is an angle right here. Think of it as a right angle. <coughs> and uh, take a flat palm right here. Um, the idea behind the concept is, let me do the concept really quickly. So, that was the move. Um, the concept is I'm taking this finger right here, dragging this hand over, clicking this <laughs> uh, finger right here and making these go up, taking this point right here at the end of these two fingers, bringing it back. So um, that is the idea behind this concept right here. So <coughs> another hand position you can start off with is a really simple one right here I mean you learned it when you started to try and finger tut um, you know different things like that um, with concept chaining and expansion uh, I like to think of uh, my technical concepts uh, more so technical than like uh, regular waves and stuff finger rolls and waves. Uh, I like to think of it as 2D tech versus 3D tech. So I'm going to give you an example of each. Um, this would be 2D tech. Notice how I'm not using depth perception very much at all. There's like a little mini hop over here, but that's pretty much it. Um, for the most part, I'm all on this flat plane right here. And that is what I like to call 2D tech. 3D tech is essentially uh, moves that you're doing that are in the viewer's face or like fuck with depth perception. So I'm going to give you an example of 3D tech. See how I'm like using uh, this plane right here as opposed to just this plane. It's depth. <laughs> um, so some of the examples of <clears throat> excuse me, concepts that uh, people had trouble with or asked about chaining together um, are wave tutting. People, a lot of people like to start with wave tutting and don't exactly know how to um, transition out of it. So I'm going to give you a few examples of that. <coughs> wave tutting is a 3D, um, th it's what I like to call 3D tech, it's a 3D movement, um, because you're going like this, out and in, stuff like that. Um, so a lot of people had difficulty with wave tech to finger, or wave tech, wave tuts to finger rolls. Um, a really good example of that would be you're doing wave tuts and with showmanship you can point right here bring it back flip it on this side and then go into a finger roll one more time right here right here bring it back tip it this way so uh, on the 3d plane your thumb is going straight up and you're gonna flatten it out so it's pointing straight at the viewer and then you can go into a finger roll from there uh, wave tutting to finger tutting. This is a little easier because um, you're already working with 3D tech. 
Uh, so you, you know, you're wave tutting. And what you can do is stop either here, which is this angle again, as we talked about earlier, or here. This might be a little harder for people to do because I know when I first started, I could barely like, you know, lift my ring and pinkies up and stuff. But um, if you can hit this, that's perfect. If you can hit this when you're doing wave tuts, imagine there's a line right here that you're just drawing on for wave tuts and you stop when this is a right angle right there. And then you can, um, you can do a bunch of things from here. You can pivot this way, pinch and go into one of these really simple positions. You can flip this this way, hit these three fingers down so your pinky is just out, go into different uh, tech from there. Just stuff like that. Uh, be creative with it. Um, it's your own show, you know make it yours uh, that's a really really big part of it um, you want to make sure it's yours and nobody else's yeah um, with that last move you saw me do this that's actually my next step uh, wave tutting to digits slash dials so um, if you know if you didn't know rather a dial is basically just finger stacking um, in different capacities different depths showmanship all that good stuff right so wave tutting to digits and dials remember you're just doing this and then if you want to stop right here and uh, point the middle finger out and bring the uh, pointer finger right here into a dial simultaneously so you have one two three two and three are kind of mushed together but one two three just like that and while this is in their face you can hide this hand and kind of go to this position again with the uh, ring or middle finger on top and you go one two three boom Go into dials, whatever you want. It's legit whatever you think will look good in your own show. It's all about you. You are the light show giver. They are the recipient. So you just blow their minds with whatever you think would work best. <laughs> okay, uh, two of the last ones that people had trouble with. Uh, finger rolls to dials and finger rolls to finger tuts. So I'm going to do finger rolls to dials first because it's a little, I don't know, it's a little more difficult to comprehend if you don't know how to do it already. So if you're finger rolling, you can literally stop one hand, pull it away, and do a dial right here, and then use that, like wave tutting except sideways, to open it up, do another dial right here, and you can just go back and forth, you can, um... Like I said, play with showmanship, drag it away, and do dials back here. You can point it again, do crazy stuff like that. Like I said, it's all what you want. And I'm running on nine minutes, so I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon. Uh, finger rolls to finger tuts. Uh, my homie Tyler Torres, aka UV Face, showed me this one. It's, um, it's a finger roll, and then when you stop, you want to end up in this position here. This is on the 3D grid facing completely up and completely to the left so you can end any of your finger rolls like that and go into tech from there <laughs> but yeah stuff like that uh, if you end it right here or right here on your finger rolls then it makes it much easier to go into tech um, I'm running on 10 minutes right now so I'm gonna wrap this up really quick thank you so much for watching um, like comment subscribe all that nifty business um, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more tutorials in the future uh, let me know what you guys want to hear let me know if this worked for you if this did not work for you let me know uh, what I can do better use UV flow at amazinglights.com for whatever you want um, yeah <laughs> have a good one guys